an ERCP is an endoscopy of the bile duct. Uh, currently, it's always therapeutic, so that means um, going in to either take a stone out or put a stent, which is either plastic or metallic, into the bile duct. Um, we can also access the pancreas as well uh, for stones or strictures as well. Before an ERCP, uh, you'll be reviewed uh, either by myself uh, or a specialist nurse. Um, you'll have a pre-assessment to make sure that the procedure is safe. Uh, we will check your blood tests, make sure you're not any, on any blood thinning medications. Um, in terms of the procedure on the day, you have to be nil by mouth, so no eating or drinking for six hours, uh, and then we would perform the procedure under general anaesthetic. So the procedure uh, can vary and depends on whether uh, we're taking out a small stone or taking out a big stone. Uh, but usually uh, by the time you enter the room um, and by the time you leave, it's about 45 minutes to 60 minutes. All uh, procedures have uh, benefits uh, and risks. Um, when we perform an ERCP, the benefits outweigh a risk. Uh, the risks that I would consent to you for include perforation, which means making a small tear uh, in the gullet or stomach as the scope advances, uh, infection, uh, and usually you're given antibiotics before. Um, there's usually a small chance of bleeding. Um, and again, if you are on any blood thinning medications, these, these would need to be stopped before. And the last one, is that of pancreatitis. Uh, the bile duct normally exits the same orifice as the pancreas, uh, so there is a risk of irritating the pancreas. Uh, the risk I quote is between 1 and 5%, 5% for a mild form, 1% for a severe form. So um, all ERCP that I perform are under general anaesthetic. Uh, after the procedure, you may have some mild discomfort in the abdomen. Um, usually by the next day, this has disappeared. Uh, it may take one or two days to return to your normal daily activities, uh, but nothing longer than that.